Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Monday, November the 2nd. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Tomorrow's the big day. If you haven't been out and voted yet, make sure you do it tomorrow. All right. And wear that mask. But we're going to talk about something uh, really important to all of us in our community. And that is Heart of Missouri United Way. And my friend Andrew Grabau is with us. Good to have you here. Good morning, Andrew. Um, This is an important time of year for you. Plus, you've got some really You've got a nice event coming up. Is it next week we do. that you want to talk about? That's right. Yes. Thanks again for having me on. You're I always, welcome. I love coming on to your show. So we know about tomorrow and the seriousness of tomorrow. We know about the importance and the seriousness of United Way in fighting for our neighbors and fighting for everyone in our community. So let's set that the the seriousness aside for a second. We're going to talk about something that's fun. Okay. And do you remember what it's like to have fun, right? Do yes, we remember what I it's do. like? Actually, yes. 2020, <laughs> it's, when we started 2020, we had no idea it was going to it was going to end up like this. Right, right. But you're trying to inject some levity into it. Now. We are without forgetting the importance of, of the, the mission of United Way and the importance of our community. So United Way recognizes the value and importance of our local businesses, local restaurants, and how we are a community convener in bringing those organizations together to address the greatest needs in our community, to serve our most vulnerable neighbors. Okay. So we're going to have some fun in doing it. And how are you doing that? So on next week, on November 9th, Mm -hmm. United Way is broadcasting a new event called Como Chopped. And it's a slight take on the show, the television show Chopped, if any of your viewers have have watched it. So it's called Como Chops. Correct. Chopped. Yes. And so what it'll it'll broadcast on our Facebook page, also on YouTube. And what basically this event does is we are working with six local restaurants, Mm -hmm. with six their local chefs. We have six local chef celebrities, individuals in our community. And they are making a unique dish that will then allow the community uh, to see what the judges, we have local judges that are going to evaluate those dishes, and then they can, the community can vote on who they so think is So the, the best. community watches this show. How long is the show? So it's going to be about 45 minutes. Okay, so you watch it, and then you vote on what you feel were the best right. dishes. Well, how do you make money on this? Well, that you vote with money. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so okay. you don't just vote. Right. You vote by making a donation right. to United Way. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. That's right. So uh, if you feel very strongly about something that you saw that looked good and you feel strong about United Way, you yeah. you can yeah. vote, unlike yeah. in tomorrow's election, right. you can vote as many times as you want. And please do. Vote early <laughs> and often, right, is what they say. So, All right. Yes. So what what's really exciting about this, I, I can't emphasize enough that um, the goal here is to have fun and to lift up our local companies and businesses. Yeah. So you not, you, University of Missouri Healthcare is the presenting sponsor. We have wonderful restaurants. Can I go through the list oh really my fast yes. of the you six know, this restaurants? this has been a hard year okay. yes. for, for local restaurants, for restaurants in general, but the local restaurants, which the heartbeat of our, of our community. That's right. So let me go through the list, and then I want to share okay. a quick thing about them. So Gina Yu's, D. Rose, Addison's and Sophia's, 44 Canteen and 44 Stone, South Florida Style Chicken and Ribs, and Broadway Diner. Okay. Aren't those great places. Yeah, by they the are. Way? And so here's the thing. So when we met with all of these individual restaurants and asked them if they wanted to get involved, they all said yes. And the reason why they all wanted to be involved is because they value the community. They want to make sure their employees have jobs. They want to make sure that our community um, prospers. And 
So we need to return that favor. We need to patronize these places. And through Como Chopped, once an ev- once the event airs and everyone can see what each restaurant and chef makes, you can go to that restaurant, order the menu, the item on the menu, and take it home. And so we want people to go and try these items out. Go to those restaurants. Go to um, and support our local economy. Yeah, if you don't feel if you don't feel comfortable eating indoors at the restaurant, all of them do feature carryout. So yeah. right? Correct. So what you're Correct. saying when when you watch this show next week and there's a dish that you just feel is the yummiest thing you've ever seen, you can order it and and carry it out. That's exactly right. And yeah. Then you're helping the community. You're yes. helping a local business in our community. That's right. And so you'll have fun. The show will be a lot of fun. You'll get to watch the chefs cook. And they have celebrity chefs. And some of these celebrity chefs, I tell you what, some of them are very serious. And they have their culinary skills down. And some of them maybe maybe they need to work on it a little bit but it was right. it was a great we you know it was a great time we we filmed it by the way and we, right. when we I, filmed, I gathered that we, we we used all all best practices health public health practices in filming it as well but um it's going to be fun and so paul on the 9th it's going to air people can view video clips they can view segments of it they can vote all the way until the 19th of november okay now it's going to air next week but can you rewatch it yes. at any time that you want? Yes. So definitely. if you don't catch it yes. when it first hits the internet, you can watch it again. That's and if right. you like it so much, you can watch it over and over again and you can vote over you can vote many 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 times with your pocketbook, which helps United right. Way. Yes, each each celebrity chef will have a Facebook fundraiser page so you can vote that way. Um, and then on the 19th, which is also United Way's Live United Day, that's a day where we celebrate Living United as a community, we will announce the winners, and the winners are going to be determined on three categories. The first one is the chefs. We have three chefs that have reviewed all the dishes. It's their vote. Okay. The second one, we're going to provide extra points to how many dishes have been ordered at the restaurant uh, okay. of the item that's been created. The okay. third total number of votes. Okay. How much money are you hoping that you'll raise with this? Well, I tell you, the more the merrier, uh, as I much know. as we possibly can. Uh, our goal is to hopefully raise north of 40000 hopefully $50,000. Now, will this money go into your goal for the year, or is this it a separate? No, it, it will, because we view this fundraiser as a way of making up for some of the challenges that we're encountering this year. Okay. So if you want to help out United Way, if you want more information about United Way, if you want more information about this special program that they're running next week with chefs, you help United Way, you help our, our local businesses, what's the website to go to? uwheartmo.org. Okay. www.uwheartmo.org. Andrew Gabrow, thank you so much for coming thank by. Thank you. And I hope that your the fundraiser next week is a massive success. Sure. All right? We're out of time for today. If something you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email at pepperp at missouri.edu. And when you go outside, put that face mask on.